troop is in a conundrum. We are literally hours away from opening our next dinner theater production of Murder at Melody Ranch, and one of our principal players has been arrested for committing adulterous behavior with the Yummy Cakes delivery man at the deli next door. You just can't make this stuff up! Officer, arrest her. But it was an accident! This Potter much. you are hereby under arrest. It's a 212-year-old ordinance here in Curtinsville, and the local police have enforced it to the letter. Meanwhile, in our production, Clark has come up with a plan to portray both his role of Gabby the Cook, our homage to an incomprehensible Gabby Hayes, and Pamela's role of a Tourette's-ridden Louise. Don't give me a crap, I got a recipe for prayer cake has been in Don't Ever Do Make It Do! Lap lick me! Lap lick me, Ricky! Quickly, quickly, Ricky, Ricky, lap lick me! Where would I move up there again? Hmm. This artistic strategy just may be a bit flawed. And if that weren't enough, Alexis, our femme fatale, has disappeared. I have no idea where she is. Can I help you? The uh, electric company gotta check your fuse box. Yeah, can I help you? The uh, electric company gotta check your fuse box. for making it in snappy, would you? She doesn't like no interruptions. Well, what have we here? He's from the electric company. He needs to check the fuse box. Did I ask you, dirtbag? You don't speak until spoken to, get it? Yes. Oh, mistress. Now get me a margarita. And get one for this fella, too. Oh, thanks. No, I'm, uh, I'm on duty. Why are you still here? Uh, if you could just direct me to the fuse box, I can get things going. Ooh, you already got things going. I love a man in a mustache. <laughs> you sure I can't fix you a drink? Uh, not, not while I'm working, no. Uh, oh. the, the fuse box? Oh, oh yeah, the box, the box. Uh, back there. Take your time. You drink, mistress. It's about time, fart face. Ooh. Ooh, it's nice and cool on a mm. hot day like this. You want some, baby? Oh, that would be most kind of you, mistress. Yeah, well, uh, come and get it. Mmm. Anytime, honey. Call me. <clears throat> Mid car guard, I can understand why your body would do a dip. Why in the wide, wide world of bork would you over ever dine over your date in a ranch of rigor figure who your bargain do? Look, yo, got this kitchen queer. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Gabby. I've been waiting all my life to find a spy, my special soulmate. When I finally found him, I wasn't about to let anything mess it up. I didn't care about my ranch. I just cared about my wiki. Okay, Cud, I think we've seen just about enough of this. Yeah. Look, Clark, we all appreciate what you're trying to do, but I don't think it's worth it. I couldn't agree more. I just don't think Clark has the chops to be able to pull it off. No offense, Clark. I don't even think I could manage it. Oh, please. Bobby, you're such an egomaniac. I think the biggest thing is the gender issue. Maybe a woman should double as Louise. Maybe I could do it. Or maybe Alexis. Alexis? Now that's another thing. 
What the heck happened to Alexis? No, she'll be back to do the show. She just had something to take care of. What? When? Uh, we're in big trouble here, people. If you know something, Lacey, you better spill it and quick. Excuse me, folks. Sorry to interrupt. Al, any word on Pamela? That's what I was about to ask you. Did you have any luck in getting her bail reinstated? None. Dunn too quick said she's in for the duration. That's awful. For sure. And our show is in shambles without her. Well, that's kind of harsh. Don't take it personally, Clark. Didn't Dunn too quick give you any options for getting Pamela out of jail? He said her only out would be if Melinda dropped the adultery charge. Drop the charges? I guess I know what I have to do. Good luck, Al. Don't forget to wear your coat. <laughs> Well, look what the cat dragged in. Where have you been, my darling husband? I've been doing a lot of thinking, Melinda. Oh, well, that must have been a novel experience for you. Please, Melinda, please, you have to drop the adultery charges against Pamela. I promise you, I'll do anything you ask, anything, but you've got to drop the charges. You know what I want. Yes, I do. I've got the papers from the bank. All I have to do is sign them and mom's money is yours. Oh, what a good boy. Your mommy must be proud. Now sign on the dotted line, Aloysius. Just a minute, Melinda. Before I commit fraud and risk going to jail, I need to be sure that you're gonna drop the charges. I don't like being dictated to Al. I don't like it at all. That's my offer, Melinda. Take it or leave it. Stepped up. At least we have some options here. On the one hand, Pamela will stay in jail and our show will be a disaster. On the other hand, Melinda will drop charges, Pamela will save the show, and Al will definitely be incarcerated. And what the heck happened to Alexis? <laughs>